you're racing! Welcome back to Diddy Colin Racing, everybody! I'm Colorful Artie, and today we're gonna end for an epic episode. We're gonna finish up the snow world, go start the next world, and we're finally going to show off the elusive... Drumstick! Drumstick! He's basically Crunch, and he's just literally better in every stat. He's better at speed, he's got better turning, better excel, and he gets better boosts. And we can finally go back to my old folder. Hey, dude. I like Drumstick's red color. So Drumstick admittedly is pretty bad in an airplane, but he's really good in a hovercraft and decent in a car, so... And he's better at crunch and everything, so... <laughs> we will never use crunch again. Alright, Mr. Walrus, we're gonna beat you. Yeah. <laughs> Watch as we school the walrus now. Also, it's pretty much impossible to beat the walrus with Pipsy in the hovercraft, I've uh, learned. You, like, have to use power-ups. And he's still right behind me anyways. Whoa, okay. Guy in the comment section told me that... Uh, he, t he told me that I've been using the boost wrong where you have to like release Z and you have to keep, like, just not pushing the A button until the boost is finished and you'll go way farther. And sure enough, thank you for the tip. And yeah, if you're not Pipsy, then the walrus is a joke. Later, Walrus, dude. Well done! Now you have two pieces of the amulet. Only two more to go. Keep it up. Yeah! Alright, let's get out of here. Snowflake Mountain's been amazing, but... New World Calls! So we're going to the beach now, everybody. Home to a lot of hovercraft races. Nice going, Drumstick. Sherbet Island. Sherbet Island. So we got the locked door right there. Boss is down that way. Those are the four stages. Trophy races in the middle. So let's start with Whale Bay. Whale Bay. This is a fun hovercraft course. Wow, that's good. <laughs> oh, the extra boost is amazing. There's also a shortcut if you can hop on the whale and come up here. Gotta love that. And you, oh man, the extended super boost is great. How did I never know about that? <laughs> also, those adorable little orange things are great. I want to say they're like supposed to be buoys. Whatever they are, they are adorable. Also, we haven't shown off the level 3 green power-up, I just realized. And we're not going to, apparently. <laughs> if the level 3 green power-up is a bubble, it sounds terrible, but if you drop it and an enemy steps into it, or anybody steps into it, really, they will stop for a very long time. It's great. Woo! 
It's a vastly different- Oh, that whale is adorable. I love its smile. Yeah, this world is pretty much the polar opposite from uh, Snowflake Mountain. And I just realized, wow, the propeller on the hovercraft is like very obviously 2D. Alright, there's another hovercraft race we can do. Pirate Lagoon! This is an awesome level with the best music in the game. Thank you for pro propelling me, Wall. Seriously, you've got to love this music. And this level. I love the sunset feel of it. And as you can see, Drumstick is just dominating. Drumstick, I think, gets the best boosts in the game. It's almost just very well put together. Lots of boosts, beautiful graphics, amazing music, awesome level. And yeah, if you ever need to do some sharp turns on a hovercraft, just start hopping. <laughs> oh, drumstick, you are great. Ah, oh, I love this level. I'll go more in depth on it when, for the Silver Coin Challenge. I realize I didn't talk much about it. Bark, thanks! Alright, I think a change of characters is in order. Let's see, uh, let's be Conker. I think Conker's just inferior to Timber in every way, actually. Hello, friend. Select your Abracadabra. Come here now. Like, uh, I think I was told recently Conker, Bumper, and Timber all have the same handling and acceleration, but Timber is faster. So, there's that. Conker's still fun to be, though. Alright, time for Crescent Island. Crescent Island. Which it sounds like Christmas Island when they say it. That would oh that would be an amazing stage for any game really. I love how it's shaped like a dolphin. Let's go down this new pathway, shall we? This is one level where for the time trial you like drumstick, pretty much. <laughs> oh, okay, I love this pirate ship. You need very sharp turning to get through that, or super power sliding. But it is great. Also, there's a shortcut up here. But if you do that, then it's not a shortcut. I've also learned that if you use a power-up, then all the computer players use power-ups as well. More bananas, please. This game is beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. I would not get in front of Conker if I were you, um, Tip Tuck. 
Ooh, I never noticed it had Men64 logo on the pirate ship. That's a nice touch. Finish! And Conquer wins first! Ah, I love the beach world. Actually, I love pretty much every world in this. Oh, Conquer, why did you have to go bad? Alright, last course for Sherpin Island, Treasure Caves. And I love this course. It also has the amazing Pirate Lagoon music. Which they took out of the DS one. It was literally the best, like pretty much unanimously, like the best uh, song in the game, and they took it out. Move it, Diddy. Move it, Banjo. Don't get the boosts, but I'm getting the bananas, so I will be way faster than that. <laughs> hey, later, guys. I got to get in first place right now. I'm used to the Pipsy turning. Woohoo! Oh, rocket boost! Yeah, look how look this disgusting weed I have. It's because I have all these bananas. That was weird. <laughs> wow, we're actually going to make it to the boss of this world in this video. This is amazing. I love the torches on the wall too. Sure, there, there are no sticks for them, but the wall flames make it very nice. And this is just a very pretty game. Hello there! Alright, Conquer, are you ready to conquer the boss? This boss is pretty famous. <laughs> Known for being one of the toughest bosses in the game. Especially when you face him the second time. Well done. Now I challenge you to a race. It's Bubbler the Octopus, I believe. Also, he loves yelling alcohol out aloud. He also drops uh, projectiles for you to hit. No! Stupid current pushed me in there. Yeah, this is where the bosses stop messing around and are just, like, brutally difficult. Nope. Not again. that bubbler. <laughs> this really fits for the beach levels. The music, I mean. Yes, we get it. You love alcohol! Alcohol! Good luck beating this boss with Pipsy. Whiffing. Also, those logs are annoying because if you hit them, you can bounce ever. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on, that hit him. I did not touch that. Okay, like half the missiles that hit him, like, just passed right through. That's not fair.
Oh yeah, you squid. I'm not even gonna break out Drumstick. I'm gonna beat him with Conquer. Once you get in first, you can usually just keep the lead pretty easily. <laughs> and again, if you think he's hard now, wait till you see him on the second fight. Or the second race, you don't fight him. Although I am shooting him with harmful missiles. Alright, I think I'm in the clear now. Because once you're in front of him, he can't hit you. And you can't run into any of his projectiles. I wish there was a way to look behind me. Yeah, look, I'm just like... have a very nice lead on him. He's slow, true. He gets faster on the second race, though, which is very troublesome. Take that, you alcoholic! He has a weird voice. And we're out of hints from Taj, and that's where we're going to leave the episode for this video. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorflarty. If you tune in next time, we will do all the silver coin challenges in the Pirate Lagoon, not Pirate Lagoon, in Sherbet Island. Have a great day, and God bless.